Welcome to 5 Minutes with God. Today, April 22nd, is Earth Day, a day to raise our consciousness regarding the need to care for creation. And so let us begin with our short prayer. Creator God, we thank you for all of creation. We ask your forgiveness where we have failed to be just stewards. And we now ask for your guidance in restoring the face of the earth. May we learn to live in harmony, safety, and just sharing of resources among all so that we achieve the kingdom of God. Peace be to this community. Peace be to this land. Peace be to all people. Amen. Begun in 1970, Earth Day has expanded to include all corners of the globe. In 2009, it was declared by the United Nations as International Mother Earth Day on its calendar. This day was initially promoted by university students to underscore the fragility of our planet and the need for concrete actions to avoid, in the name of a well-known book, a silent spring. This year, the theme is focused on a reduction of plastics that cause so much damage to the environment, especially the world's oceans. Currently, the world produces 430 million metric tons of plastics each year, of which over a third is used only once. Americans alone purchase 50 billion water bottles per year. These are things that can be changed without the need of new technologies. We can meet this challenge if we are more aware of the danger our use of plastic creates. Pope Francis points to the need for greater ecological education, which seeks to restore the various levels of ecological equilibrium, establishing harmony within ourselves, with others, with nature and other living creatures, and with God, making the leap towards the transcendent which gives ecological ethics its deepest meaning, developing an ethics of ecology. Each of us, all of us, are responsible for meeting this challenge. As the Earth, Earth Charter solemn, solemnly declares, everyone shares responsibility for the present and future well-being of the human family and the larger living world. The spirit of human solidarity and kinship with all life is strengthened when we live with reverence for the mystery of being, gratitude for the gift of life, and humility regarding the human place in nature. With greater consciousness and above all, with an understanding that we have a moral duty towards each other and towards God to take greater care of creation, we can begin to bend the curve and reduce reuse and recycle the plastic waste that we create each day. Our small actions can do and make a difference. As St. Paul tells us, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And so making a recommitment on this Earth Day, we pray. For trees, plants, crops, and forests, let us pray. For water, oceans, rivers, streams, and ponds, let us pray. For air, wind, climate, and weather, let us pray. For sun, clean energy, and prevention of global warming, let us pray. For animals, especially endangered species, let us pray. For all humankind, let us pray. For recycling and moderate personal consumption, let us pray. For proper use of chemicals and disposal of toxic wastes, let us pray. 
for earth and unity. Let us pray. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.